Hey, what's up dreamers? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this video, I'm going to bring you guys the top three stocks and also my favorite Dividend King stock right now that you guys should be looking to buy now in the upcoming weeks and the upcoming months. Now we're gonna dive straight into this and my favorite Dividend King that I've been actually purchasing for the last couple of months is 3M. As you guys can see right here, I have 100 shares of 3M and I'm up $2,926 without my dividends. Let me show you guys how much I'm bringing in from this Dividend King paying stock. And here we are with my dividends included. I'm up to plus $3,437. And over the last couple of months, I began $150 every quarter, another $150 a quarter, $151. And recently I just got paid out $70 in dividends uh, last quarter from this dividend paying company. Now I've made a lot more money than this that I called out inside of my Patreon, inside of my Discord. In fact, I've been buying um, 3M all the way from the $70, $80 price range. My average on here is just $100 because I was selling options on 3M. I think I sold 100 shares of 3M at around $105 and then I end up buying back 100 shares of 3M at $100, which brought my average to $100. So we got in super early inside the Patreon. If you guys wanna get in on tips like that, I'm gonna leave that link down in the pinned comment section and also down in the description. Also, before we get started, I'm going to leave a link to Moomoo down in the description. Sign up, deposit $100, and you receive up to 20 free stocks using my special link that they provided me to give to you guys. And also, in September, I'm going to be starting a $100 a month challenge inside of Moomoo. Everybody inside of the Patreon, everyone inside of the Discord is going to deposit $100 inside of their Moomoo account. And then we're going to be investing in trading $100 every single month inside of our Moomoo account to show you guys how you could grow a small account to a decent size account in just one year. So if you guys want to be a part, uh, we're going to get started in September. So go ahead, download the app, deposit $100. So when we get started in September, we're going to be doing some investing and we're going to be doing some trading with our pro day traders inside of our Discord to try to flip that $100 to $200 to $400 to $800 over the course of a year by just depositing $100 every single month. So, so guys, go ahead and download the Moomoo Moo investing app so you don't miss out on this amazing opportunity. Now here we are on trading view. This is ticker symbol 3M on the one hour time frame. Now this was that range that I set out inside of the Patreon, inside of the Discord a long time ago to be buying 3M between the $68 price range and the $100 price range. And we've been buying it. I think I sold a little bit right there and then got it right back right here. So when it exploded up right here recently, it just made a perfect run all the way up to the zone that we drew out so long ago. And now it's inside of our zone. It could do one of two things. It's either going to pull back or it's going to continue to bust through the zone and shoot all the way up. If 3M shoots through this zone, I could see it making a good run all the way back up to some recent all time highs. Now, the reason I believe this is that because 3M is such an amazing company, they are dividend kings, right? If we go right here to Sinking Alpha and click on dividends, you guys can see that uh, they've been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 65 years, and they have a 2.14% dividend yield, paying out $2.80 per share. Now, if we come back here and then go to the four hour time frame, you guys can see that um, even though recently it's been shooting up, for the long term, it's actually been pulling back. And that's when it pulled back inside of this zone that I post inside of the uh, Discord that we've been buying inside of this zone. A lot of people did buy the bottle. I was buying between the $75 and $85 price range. And it started to trend up. And a lot of people are is coming to the zone right here wondering what to do let me show you guys why they're wondering what to do if we go all the way back out to the one day time frame and pull this back a little bit you guys can see that it's actually let's go to the week if we go to the weekly time frame right here you guys can see that it is at a resistance zone on the downtrend resistance zone if we draw out this right here and trend it all the way down it touches all three points right there uh so this is the all-time high of 215 dollars it touched right here had a hard time breaking above that and now it's recently touching right here so 3m is going to have to make a decision soon so this upcoming week is going to be very important for 3m and this is such an amazing company that's been downtrending 
uh, for the last, since 2018. And they make amazing products. They make every single product in the store that you could possibly buy. 3M sticky notes, 3M mask, everything, right? So this is gonna be a very important zone. If it breaks through, we can see 3M running all the way back up to 175, where I would do a further market analysis on 3M. But this is one of my favorite dividend kings that I've been profiting on. I'm up 3,000 plus dollars on this. Um, even more than that because I was selling options, collecting premiums and passive income on that and also dividends. So 3M is one of my favorite dividend kings at the moment because it is at a perfect opportunity zone. If it gets rejected and come back down to another of our buy zone, I would probably try to pick up another 100 shares to see when it's eventually. Uh, I do believe that this dividend king is going to eventually break through this resistance, this downtrend resistance zone and shoot all the way back up to the top. Okay, I'm going to show you how my potential returns could be on one of my favorite dividend kings, 3M. So we're going to come over to my portfolio visualizer. We're going to type in 3M, 100% my portfolio. And then let's look at the last 30 years for some 93 to 2024. We're not done with 2024. And as you guys already know, I have $10,000 already invested. But let's just say I invest $150 a week or $600 a month into MMM. And then we're going to go in, we're going to reinvest our dividends, and then we're going to analyze our portfolio. So this will show um, the last 30 years, if you invested $10,000 into 3M um, and invested $600 every single month into it. So, so the past performance of the 30 years could show my potential growth for the next 30 years in 3M. So we're going to hit analyze portfolio. And there it goes, it's gonna give me 17% return every single year. Or my invested in $10,000 and $600 every single month in 1993 would be worth $1.4 million um, today in 2024, or would have a, a whole return of 1,454%. Uh, that's completely insane guys um 1.4 million dollar account and that's just from having the 100 shares i have now and investing an extra 600 dollars every single month into it and if we want to look at my um, dividend income i will start off making what 439 dollars in dividends every single year compared to now making over the next 30 years fifty thousand dollars every single year that's then that's more than most people's salaries have inside the united states i'm making that in passive income every single year and as you guys know this is just the last 30 years and 3m has been increasing their dividends for 60 years so this is not even half of the time that they've been paying dividends now the next the stock number two that i'm going to bring you guys is starbucks sbux now, Starbucks recently had a big gap, a big jump all the way from $78 up to $94. Now, the reason Starbucks had this big jump is because of um, they recently hired Chipotle CEO and Chipotle stock has absolutely been killing it over the last couple of years. But I'm going to show you Chipotle stock um, in a second, but let's take a look at Starbucks. If we're taking a look at Starbucks, this gap right here, we've been buying Starbucks from around the $70 price range. Underneath $80, we've been buying Starbucks. Now, one of the reasons I put Starbucks on this, on this list is because it's showing a divergence. If we're looking at the bottom right here, low to the top. And if we're looking at the bottom right here, low to the low, it's showing reverse divergence. So we could actually see this big gap right here. If Starbucks do break below this gap right here, we can see that it could pull back anywhere inside of this zone. We can see that it will pull back anywhere inside of this zone right here. And this would be a good opportunity to be buying Starbucks if it breaks below and it pulls back to the $90 to the $80 price range to fill these market orders right here. This would be a good time to begin in on Starbucks. Starbucks is also a dividend paying stock, it's BUX. Um, Starbucks has a dividend yield of 2.34% and they've been increasing their dividends every single year for 13 years. And this is amazing. The five year growth rate is 9.63%. Starbucks is like its own little bank. And if we look at the long term, let's go to the four hour chart. So looking at the four hour chart, it has been trending down. And if it shoots all the way back up to its all time high, if I mean, I, I always say don't buy the highs, don't buy the highs. The How you win inside the market is to buy low and sell high. If it continues to trend up all the way to the 100 this eight dollar price range then we just missed out if it pulls back and we're buying it at eighty dollars and ninety dollars and uh eighty five dollars then it continues to pull our way back up to this all-time high that is a profit 
a 23%. So if we miss out, we miss out. If it does, if it do pull back and we buy inside the zone, that is called smart investing. So you always want your risk to outweigh your rewards. And the reason why it had that big jump is because they hired Chipotle CEO. So we're going to go to uh, Chipotle's. So this is Chipotle. Let's look at them over the last on the weekly chart. And <laughs> as you guys can see, uh, Chipotle, Chipotle CEO has exit absolutely been killing it. They went from eight, $7, $8 in 2018, all the way to highs of $69. That is a profit of, let's see, um, 729%, 729%. And that's why they absolutely believe inside of this guy and start a Starbucks. They think that he's going to come in, turn things around. And this is great for investors. And the last one that we're going to look at is Amazon. Okay, so here we are on Amazon. Amazon is not a dividend paying stock, but it is a, in a perfect place for me to actually try to get in and get some stocks. Now, Amazon had an all-time high of around $200, and they finally missed out on one of their earnings report. It's pulled back. Now, after the earnings report, this is where we went in and bought some stocks at $150. But I do believe, just looking at the Fibonacci sequence of it, at the recent all-time highs and the recent 52-week lows, looking at the Fibonacci sequence, this zone down here, this golden zone, between the 382 and the 0.5 i will go in and buy up half of my position and then if it pulls all the way back to this zone right here i will go in and buy double down on whatever position i bought before amazon eventually reaches all the way back up to its all-time highs now amazon we do have some shares of amazon we already have shares of amazon now, Amazon continues to pull all the way back up to the $200 um, all-time high. Then we're going to finally start to sell some um, some covered calls on Amazon to create some passive income. If you want to learn how to uh, sell covered calls, I post my covered calls and Cash Your puts every single week inside of my Patreon. So if you guys want to check that out, that link is going to be down in the comment section and also down in the description. But yeah, Dreamers, that's it. That's my three top stocks that I'm going to be watching over the next couple of days. I can't wait to see the move that 3M makes. Starbucks is probably absolutely going to kill it. I really hope that it pulls back to our buy zone. Remember, we don't want to buy high. We want to buy low. And then when it gets to the top, we want to sell high. So, And then Amazon is a company I'm going to be holding inside my portfolio for a very long time. So whenever I see it at a resistance zone at the 200 EMA and it pulls back, I'm going to buy some and then I'm going to double down when it pulls back even more. That's a company I absolutely believe in. But let me know which one is your favorite of those three down in the comment section. And if you're investing inside anything right now, heavily inside the stock market, let me know what stock that is down in the comment section. I can't wait to check those out. Um, this is a bit of a different video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out more than you guys can even imagine. And if you hit that subscribe button, that helps me out. It's completely free and you guys do not miss out on any um amazing content and also hit that notification bell because i heard that um youtube is kind of tricky with that algorithm so that would really help me out but other than that guys i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace